In this video, we discuss eilenberg mohr liftings and Claisley extensions. The definition is as follows. Given a joint situations Fg and F prime, G prime, then one, if the following is a commutative diagram of functors, then S tilde is called the eilenberg mohr lift of S through the joint functors G and G prime. And two, if the following is a commutative diagram of functors, then T hat is called the Claisley extension of T through the cojoint functors f and f prime. We prove the following result. If fg and f prime g prime are adjoint situations with induced monads h and h prime respectively, then one, if s tilde is a lift of s through g g prime, then there exists a natural transformation lambda from h prime s to sh such that a lambda eta prime s is equal to s eta and b lambda mu prime s is equal to s mu lambda h h prime lambda, indicated by the following commutative diagrams. And two, if t hat is a Claisley extension of t through f f prime, then there exists a natural transformation sigma from th to h prime t such that a sigma t eta is equal to eta prime t and b sigma t mu is equal to mu prime t h prime sigma sigma h as indicated in the following diagrams. For the proof of one, let delta be the left mate of the identity natural transformation from sg to g prime s tilde. In other words, delta is equal to epsilon prime s tilde f f prime s eta. And we set lambda to be g prime delta given by the following string diagram. Then to show 1a, we see that the string diagram of lambda a to prime s is equal to the following string diagram by the triangle identity for f prime g prime. Then we can remove the composition of equalities to arrive at s eta. For 1b, we give the string diagram for lambda mu prime s on the left and s mu lambda h h prime lambda on the right. By the triangle identity for the adjoint situation fg, we can replace the following substring outlined in yellow by the string representing the functor g, and then remove the compositions of equalities. But then it is easy to see that these two string diagrams are equal by naturality, which just means that we can raise the pink dot on the right. And that completes the proof of one. Two is similar. We define psi to be the right mate of the identity natural transformation from f prime t to t hat f. In other words, psi is equal to g t hat epsilon a to prime t g. And we set sigma to be psi f, given by the following string diagram. Then for 2a, we have the mirror proof of 1a, replacing the substring outlined in yellow on the left by g, and removing the compositions of identities. And for 2b is also just the mirror proof of 1b. This time we replace the yellow substring by the string, which represents the functor f prime, and observed equality by naturality again. And that completes the proof.